Hello, this is the voice of Dylan Flynn. Hi, this is the voice of Trevor Ickraft. And you're listening to Wordle with Friends, the show where two friends do the Wordle. That's right, it is Sunday once again, which means you may not be able to get a chicken sandwich at your favorite Christian chicken sandwich restaurant, but hey, at least you could still listen to your favorite word puzzle themed podcast slash YouTube channel slash TikTok. Sometimes they leave those back doors unlocked or the dumpsters. Sounds sounds good to me. Let's, let's try and hit up one after the show. Today is Sunday, May 15th, 2022, and Trevor and I are about to attempt to solve wordle number 330. So this is your warning to turn back now if you've not yet done today's puzzle, as there will be spoilers ahead. Yesterday, we open-sourced our first uh, play of the game from our YouTube channel. I haven't done any prep work like that or anything, so I'm just going to play a word that I've thought of myself, if that's okay. I mean, as far as I remember, that's our baseline. Yeah, so here we go. I just thought of a word. I'm going to play it. Ooh, I got three yellow letters. Wow. From playing the word blade. What do I want them to be? Hmm. What about this? I'm going to play it. I'm just going to play it. Okay. Um, not as good of a return. No? I have one yellow letter and one green letter. I played the word raved. Raved? Another past tense verb. You're settling into those. Well, you serve me, serve me up three yellows on something like blade. Of course I'm going to play an ED word. All right. Do you think by merely attending a rave that afterwards you have raved? Or can you be enough of a wallflower at a rave to come away saying, I didn't rave at that rave? It's a good question. Does merely being at a rave qualify one as a as a raver? I don't know. You know, it's kind of like a tree falling in a forest or something. Does merely perching atop a, a misty, barren tree uh, under a midnight moon make one a rave in? Good questions. Those are the kind of big topics we like to cover here on Wordle with Friends. We like to ask the questions, but really it's up to our listeners to take away their own answers. Yeah, we're, we're much like a From Software game where we only have like <laughs> 60% of the content actually in here and we rely more mm -hmm. on the audience to fill in those gaps themselves in satisfying ways. But some very good speculation happening on the Wordle with Friends wikis. I don't know if I agree with all those theories. Some of them like contradict actual in-show stuff, but hey, yeah. as long as they're taking big swings, you know, I can appreciate a big swing. For sure. Thinking about swings, let me take one at this word, why don't I? I'm currently looking at this word with the assumption that you got the L. Yeah. And I have a potential domino issue of two words that would work. I'm not even there yet, man. I'm still, one, I'm still waking up. Two, I'm still trying to just think of at least one word. Either turn to that E or that D green. But there's so, like, how was it not both, you know? How was it not both? I certainly would have loved it had it been both. Mm hmm LOL, what if this is the word? Ah, damn. I just went with it because I wanted it to be the word so bad. I played yodel. <laughs> I got <laughs> three yellow letters and one green letter. That means it might be exactly what I have typed into the, uh, to the thing right now. I hope it's not. Well, if that Y was green, you're in trouble. Uh-oh. Five green letters. Damn. Okay. You'll get this. You have almost everything. I do have almost everything. Man, I'm so lucky that you played that because I had, it was it was the, down to this or something else. Mm -hmm. You getting that Y was was exactly what the doctor ordered. I can only assume we're going Y E here. Oh, never mind. I know what it is. There you go. The word is yield. Yeah, I was worried it might be wield with a W. That would have been the diverging path, wouldn't it have been? I I really did serve you that one up on a silver platter by playing that Y clutched me that round two victory i think we one of us played yield on this show once before because we had a weird conversation about its dual meanings yeah we probably did didn't we mm -hmm. so maybe this is another classic example of the new york times listening to this show and stealing our shit it was probably you know it was probably you who played the word because that just seems to be a thing that happens they are mining your like incorrect plays for future solves that seems to be what what's going on this is why if the government were to ever gang stalk me it would be such a waste of resources because it doesn't impact me at all and i would never notice it mm -hmm. if you've noticed that you've been gang stalked though <laughs> you can write to us about it and maybe we can help i don't know if we'd be able to help you out i'm sorry it's probably like there's nothing we could do you know but still you should write to us at wordlefriends at gmail.com you should also look up the show on tiktok or Twitter by searching Wordle Friends. Again, it's probably not going to help with the whole gang stalking <laughs> issue, but it would be great if you could 
like subscribe to the show on YouTube or leave us a nice review on Apple Podcasts. You could find us on those platforms by searching Wordle with Friends. But for now, I've been Trevor Ickrath. I've been Dylan Flynn. And we'll see you back here tomorrow on the show where friend is a five-letter word. I got to run. I got to go look at a guy who's leaving the Safeway. This has been a production of The Lighthouse Keeper's Company. Culture Illuminated.